Hey everybody, welcome once again to TFT Tarot for today, Divine Dabblings with Oberon Vanshee. This is me, Oberon, and I am at long last getting around to an unboxing or a flip through, because it won't be very comprehensive. It's a new deck I got uh, a few months back, and uh, it's very uh, nice, of course, uh, but I just wanted to kind of spend a little time with it today. Uh, given its run through, I wanted to start using it regularly. Uh, it's called the Spheres of Heaven Tarot. And it's not super edgy, super dramatic, so it doesn't fit my usual criteria of such. You know, it's not necessarily Egyptian based, you know, all those things that I seem to be known for. Uh, it has a nice little booklet. Uh, it's actually uh, designed by uh, Elliot Baum, George Hogmeyer. Viv Tanner and James Patton. So I'm not sure how they each all play a role in it. Some of them are uh, writers, uh, artists, game designers, game developers. So I guess eh, I'm going to find out more about this. But it's a nice box, of course. And uh, it is by, oh, Hay House. How oh, nice. Hay House Incorporated. That makes sense because I think that's why Banshee kind of steered it towards me because she's been lately looking at how um, Hay House and other more conventional publishers are breaking into some of the esoteric uh, cards and fields of thoughts. So uh, it's not super exciting in some respects, but there's something really pleasant. I'm just going to, I guess, uh, we'll just go through it. Okay, so uh, as usual, there's a full. And I think there's a variety of influences, uh, culturally speaking. I see some that don't even look exactly like the style that's on the card. <clears throat> so that's kind of interesting. Um, the magician. Yeah, I guess I'll just reverse the order of them by doing that. So it's the high priestess. The empress, and that's the one that's used on the box materials. The Emperor, the Hierophant, and of course, like many modern decks, there are several cards for the lovers indicating. Uh, same gender lovers or mixed gender lovers, etc. So this appears to be uh, the male gender lovers. Ah, uh, this is a more traditional one where it sort of looks like. Gee, I'm just not really sure. I'm never sure anymore. But that figure in the background maybe takes the place of the angel that's in a lot of lover cards. And then this one, and I guess, yeah, this one is the females. So the women ones. Okay, so the other one is the male and female. The figures do have some ambiguity, especially in this sequence, where the only thing you can say is where a figure does not have a beard, it is maybe 90-some percent certain to not be female. Uh, but, you know, you learn more all the time. I certainly do, and it's okay. Strength. The Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. 
justice. The hanged man. <clears throat> Death. Temperance. The devil. The tower. The star. The moon. The sun. The gate, and of course that's um, judgment. The gate we may all have to go through. And the world, so that completes the major arcana. Okay, so picking up with the minor arcana, um, well, I knew it was going to be pippy. I didn't know how hard it would be, but I would have to say that this is the Ace of Wands. It's getting bleached out in that light there. That was the ace, okay. Two. I think I did it. Well, Adjust the light. I don't want to keep getting up and changing the lights, so this is it. So it's the uh, Three of Cups. It shows better there. I'm sorry, Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. And so from the Five of Wands, we are going to the Six of Wands. I have to tilt it to get it to show better. Then the Seven of Wands. There we go. Eight of Wands. Well, let me tell you, they are kind of bland, so you're not really missing a lot of design. That was the nine, the ten, when we get back to the core cards, we have some more distinct kind of figures. Uh, that's the page, the knight, the queen and this is one so instead of her little black kitty i don't think i see it there i see some larger looking white or tawny looking animals cats and then the king so those are very light colors and it looks like the cups have a little more darkness to them that's the ace of cups The Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, as you can see they're all pretty much uh, very pips. The Four of Cups, I like pips but not overwhelmingly, that's the Five.
of course, for many people, uh, pips are very hard to read because they're used to seeing the symbols and they work from the symbols, but that just tells me that they haven't really mastered uh, all of that yet still. So it is what it is. We're all on the path. That's the eight. The nine, that's our wish card. The 10, and now we are at the court cards. There's the page. Slightly enigmatic for the Page of Cups, perhaps. And the Knight. And I don't know, there's something vaguely about the, uh, the Greek or Roman in this queen. The way she sits. Persian, maybe. You see that maybe more with the king. All right, so Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, The Seven of Swords, The Eight of Swords, The Nine of Swords, The Ten of Swords, and then our page of sorts. There's a lot of action on this one. He has a lot of sense of movement. I don't think we can get the favor of it, but that was the knight, the queen, and the king. Finally, moving to the Pentacles. It's the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, Aww. the Page, he's got a little goat, <laughs> the Knight, the Queen. And the king. So some of those are pretty nice. Well, um, pretty good show there. I liked them. Um, I do think that uh, they're a little bit on the more, you know, non-edgy side. So <clears throat> I'll get used to them. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why we thought we wanted to stick, but maybe we just thought the promos, you know, gave it more of a design. But it's not a total waste for us, of course. Uh, if I decide I'm not going to use it a whole lot, then I might uh, donate it somewhere as a gently used for a resale, something like that. We've done that before. Anyways, so that was it for the uh, unboxing, unveiling flip through of the spheres of heaven tarot uh which uh once again is by uh, well i know who the artists are they're bomb ho hobmeyer tanner and Patton, and i just sephir sephirot maybe the uh 
distributor or the company. So take care, and uh, there'll be more of these uh, coming up. Me and Banshee are both trying to catch up on uh, our catalog of uh, unfilled uh, videos. So until next time, uh, stay happy.